Good morning, Oklahoma, and welcome to Cow Calf Corner. Our topic this week is really addressing a series of articles that we'll have coming up here over the next few months that have to do with building back better through generating the right kind of replacement heifers that become our next generation of cows. In spite of some recent market volatility, the fundamentals, this current status of our nation's beef industry and our beef markets can be summed up in a few brief points. We've got the smallest national cow inventory we've had since 1961. It looks like we'll have the smallest calf crops going into the production chain this year and next year that we've seen since the 1950s. We have the strongest consumer demand that we have seen in decades. And we have very little evidence of heifer retention to become the next generation of cows. And that's added on top of several years of good statistics showing that we haven't been keeping very many heifers. In short, the robust markets that we see right now for all classes of cattle and beef the product are not gonna go away anytime soon. It looks like we're gonna experience them through the end of this decade. Why is that? Well, if we keep all of our heifers back now, the weaned heifer calves that were born this spring, were two years down the road before they wean a calf. Those calves, are a year to a year and a half delayed beyond that before they become beef by the time they go through the production chain. So these market fundamentals, these results of drought, threats of new world screw worm, the resilience and good management of cattlemen across the country, the job we have done of improving the additive genetic merit so that every cut of beef is a more consistent, high quality, tremendous eating experience for the American consumer I have all led us to this point that we're at. We are going to have to develop more replacement heifers. How fast our nation's cow herd regrows remains a mystery. But the reality, in the words of my colleague, Daryl Peel, cows can't be made out of spare parts. This low cow inventory we have is not gonna go away anytime soon. Cows are gonna age out of production we have the opportunity through a systems approach, taking a look at our own unique cow-calf operation. If we are motivated by long-term sustainable profitability, we can address breeding and selection goals. We can address mating decisions. We can take a look at when we intend to market cattle, how we wanna develop those replacement females to set ourselves up for years to come in an industry. So. That's what we've got on the horizon. We'll break these topics down week to week, intend this to follow up Dr. Henley's spot on sunup last week when he addressed heifer selection, and come at this from all the angles that permit us to generate an even better cow herd and literally build back better for the future. With that, I'm Mark Johnson, and thank you for joining us this week on Cow Calf Corner.